Hi guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chet, episode 476, featuring a long overdue look at the tactical role-playing game strategy hybrid, whatever the heck you want to call it. I call it fun. Jagged Alliance. Uh, this is a brutally difficult game with a <laughs> very unforgiving learning curve. Uh, even when you think, as you'll see in this video, even when you think you got it together, boom, one little mistake, and it is... <laughs> literally back to square one. I mean, I think <laughs> uh, you guys get a kick out of that. Uh, but it's been in the news a little bit lately because they're, uh, let's see, Hemamot, Hem Hemamot, however the hell you pronounce that, Games and THQ Nordic is about to put out a third installment to the franchise. It looks fantastic. It's got all the fans of the original series, and there's quite a few uh, looking forward to that, as uh, well as new, new gamers who might be interested in the uh, you know games that came before. Uh, so we're expecting good things from that. Uh, anyway, this original game came out in 94, 95, depending on where you look. Uh, Moby Games has it at 95, so I'll usually defer to them. And it's by Linda and Ian Curie, uh, husband-wife team, among others. Anyway, I thought it was a good time to take a look at this game. Uh, so without further ado, here is Jagged Alliance. All right, folks, and here we go, a little game called Jagged Alliance. Uh, this game, widely considered a classic, a, a masterpiece, very innovative. Uh, it's a lot of fun, especially if you are a fan of turn-based uh, strategy and tactical games. It's kind of neat because there's a, a strategic strategy game element and a tactical element. Uh, we'll get into that uh, as we play here. Uh, but it's a really well-done game. It's got a bit of a learning curve to it, as we'll see. I'll try... Uh, you know, it's not the kind of game you just dive into cold and expect to have a good time. <laughs> Uh, there's some things that you can read about in the manuals and, the, and some of the tips and uh, frankly a video like this that can kind of point out some things for you so that you can uh, have a little bit better time. It's, it's really one of those games if you if you can stick with it for a while get over that learning curve and the a sort of initial hump if you will. Uh, there's a lot of fun here to keep people coming back uh, and playing this game year after year. Uh, a little bit about, I'll save the story for when we get into the game. Uh, you can see here it's $5.99 on GOG. This is just the regular vanilla edition. Over on Steam, uh, there's a gold edition, which the difference with this one, it has the uh, add-on, yeah. Uh, they did an add-on called Deadly Games. So if you get this on Steam, it's twice as much, but you get that uh, add-on. I haven't checked to see... If, if they have it here. Let's see if there's a, if GOG has a, uh, a gold package. I don't, I don't see it. So yeah, here you can buy the $5.99. So you can buy it separately, you know, I don't know why they should have a gold package too. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Uh, uh, but anyway, it came out in, it says they're 94, but the Moby game says 95. I know it came after XCOM, because a lot of the reviews talked about how this game plays a lot like XCOM, but with more personality. Uh, if, you, if you played XCOM, and what's wrong with you if you haven't played XCOM? <laughs> uh, brilliant games. Uh, but you know how in XCOM you get these sort of mercenaries, they're not really mercenaries, but the XCOM troops, you know, whatever they call those uh, operatives, agents, whatever. Uh, they don't have a lot of personality. You know, they don't really, there's a little bit of banter in some of the games, but it's not really a big part of the gameplay, right? It's, these are just kind of uh, placeholders almost. Uh, you know, they have the flags and a name and some stats. Uh, but this game, uh, this series really wanted to play up that element, so it really feels like you're running a crew, and the crew is always a lot of fun humor in, in here, but also just trying to manage this team. Uh, they don't always work well together. Uh, they get pissed off at you pretty easily, and you also have a boss uh, that can get pissed off at you. So there's a lot of a sort of personality, team management type stuff uh, that's fairly unique, I think, to this series. It's what you know makes people. It's been called an XCOM with personality. <laughs> uh, so that's what we'll be looking for as we play here. 
Uh, and then the team is kind of cool thing to me is that there's a lot of women on this team in leadership roles. I mean, Linda Curry here, uh, she was the producer on this. There's a picture of her. Let's see what else, what else she's done. Um, the zoo looks like she's worked on Zoo Tycoon, uh, zoo tycoon Wizardry Eight. Uh, she designed a lot of stuff. Let's see, Nemesis: The Wizardry Adventure. Not even sure what that is. Uh, I think she'd worked on this some QA. Looks like on Realms of Arcania. So pretty familiar, pretty good background, and uh, especially Wizardry Eight there. Uh, I'm trying to see what she might have done before Jagged Alliance. Looks like she did a lot of QA for the Wizardry series, which makes sense, you know, spending a lot of time at Surtech. Uh, but another woman involved was uh, Brenda Romero. At the time, she was Brenda Garno, I think. Uh, she did the manual here. It says that somewhere. Uh, where is it? Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Where's Brenda? I was just looking at it. <laughs> yeah, documentation. <laughs> yeah, so she did this manual here. And it's, it's quite a hoot if you read the manual. A lot of Brenda, you know, if you remember my interview with her, she's got a lot of personality too, a lot of good humor. Uh, she puts in a lot of jokes into this, uh, into the manual. I just highlighted a few here. <laughs> you know, mercenary who spent his day blowing everything up with a good rate of accuracy, we likely learn a bit and also we get more proficient in his or her explosive ability. Naturally, some members tend to pick up some things more quickly than others. All right, Norm, for the last time, throw a grenade after you pull the <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and so there's just a lot of little jokes like this in the manual. So I, I recommend, you know, what I, I always say this, you know, especially about games from this era, but it really, uh, you're missing out if you don't look at the manual and some of the stuff that came with it. Uh, you know, plus you'll need it for this game because it's not everything is spelled out uh, in the uh uh, in the game itself and then also ian curry and i'm not sure i'm fairly sure i'm just guessing that this is uh <laughs> yeah here's ian you know i'm guessing that's a husband wife team i could be could be wrong let me just check that real quick yes i had to dig around a little bit but i found an interview here with linda Curry, and she says, yes, I met my husband, Ian, creator of Jagged Alliance, because of the games industry, so I guess it affected my personal life. <laughs> we worked together, basically together, 24 hours a day, every day. And so, you know, I, I love these husband-wife teams. You know, I always think about Ken and Roberta. Oh, uh, who's the, uh, who's some of the other ones? So the Lori and Corey Cole. I mean, it just seems to be, when you get a, <laughs> you know, the husband and wife both working on it on a game together. It always just seems to produce really brilliant games for some reason. Uh, but anyway, uh, Ian here, he worked on Jagged. Looks like he did the game called Freaky Funky Fuzzballs before. Game called Space Miner. He programmed that. So it looks like another one of these sort of teams where he's doing a lot of the programming type side of it, technical stuff. Although he is accredited on the concept for Jagged Alliance. So I guess he's He'd be a good, I mean, everybody involved in this I'd love to have on the show. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I think that's enough background. Let's go ahead and get the game up and running and see what it's all about. Okay, you can see it's running on DOSBox. There we go, Sir Tech. I love this. These aesthetics, this art, this, the pixels, the sprites. <laughs> I would like the font that that's written in. The music. <laughs> oh my God, listen to that. <laughs> yeah, there's, see, Brenda Garno, that's Brenda Romero. Some play testers. Norman Cheat Keys Syratec. I wonder what's up with that. Randy, he's sleeping young as a sound engineer. You know these voice actors, as you'll, you'll, you'll find, these are some great voice actors. You know, they made a big deal about that aspect of it in the, in the packaging, because at this time, that was relatively new. 
It's considered a really cool feature to have digitized speech and real voice actors in your game. I think this game also, I was looking at the box a while ago and it said something about how, let me just see if it's on there. It said something about AOL. <laughs> like you get a free month of AOL or something uh, with the game, which kind of raised my eyebrow because as you'll see, there's a AIM, AIM is the way you contact the mercenaries, and I was wondering if that was like a little inside joke with the uh, AOL's instant messenger. But anyway, let's get the game started here. There'll be some cutscenes, really well executed, I think, and that'll explain all the backstory. <laughs> so I don't have to! <laughs> Yeah, this is just, I don't know, I need to check to see who did the animation on this, because this is uh, really good. And this is back when you really had to know what you were doing, too. This is, there was no shortcuts. <laughs> Final check. 659 and 41. What's your situation, Red Dog? All systems are green light. System green. Five, four, three, two, test greens. Two. Cool, even had a little camera shake. Metavira, Metavira Island. Check out the helicopter. I, did, I love, again, <laughs> there's something about, some people would look at that and think, oh, that looks crude. That looks, this is my daughter, Brenda. There's another Brenda. We're grateful to see you here. I'm going to make this as brief as possible. Lucas Santino has turned this island into our own private piece of hell. He was a member of Brenda's research team when the medical benefits of the fallow sap were discovered. It was a breakthrough that held hope for thousands of sick children, but it presented the need for new research. The trees can only be found on this island, and to the best of our knowledge, they do not reproduce. Presently, there is not enough to supply everyone who needs the medicine. Unfortunately, we can supply very few. Brenda was focusing her research on determining a method of reproduction. But four months ago, an extensive fire burned her research facilities to the ground. All of my scientific journals and data were destroyed. I felt I was close, but without them, I was forced to start over. There. When we rebuilt, Lucas persuaded me that he should have his own facility on the other side of the island. He convinced my father that two independent research centers would have a better chance at reproducing the trees. I did it against my daughter's better judgment. It was a grave mistake. Within weeks, Santino had his own people on the island. Some of our employees were forcibly prevented from harvesting the fallow sap. Others have turned up dead. Now Santino has us pinned, and nobody can leave the compound. We must have access to the trees. Yes, we must return to business as usual. Must secure the space. We need you to contact the same organization you spoke of. You must decide our course of action, and see to it that as many trees as possible are harvested until we regain control of this island. We'll pay you some of the money you'll need up front and the rest daily, based on the amount of sap the workers are able to harvest and process. It won't be easy. The island heat is brutal, and Lucas Santino is a very determined man. So says Ernest Hemingway, a.k.a. Jack. That's our boss. I have bad news, Dr. Santino. A helicopter has landed in the Richards compound. How many men? One. You are sure of this? Yeah. Should we kill him? No. Find out who he is. <laughs> then kill him. Looks like Marcos from the Expanse. Okay, so I don't know if you caught all that, but we're here to harvest the spice, or the sap, as it were. It's kind of magical substance coming from these trees. I guess the, <laughs> something about the atomic bomb mutated them, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, Miracle Substance, the uh, uh, Ernest Hemingway guy <laughs> screwed up uh, with his partner, so the partner kind of taken over the island and messed everything up. Now we're kind of barricaded into this one little sector. We got to break out, recapture the trees, recapture the island, uh, and we'll do that by hiring mercenaries. So that's a, the gist of it. Now I'm gonna go easier. I wish there was a level below. <laughs> <laughs> it's super easy. Uh, this game is very tough. They're, they're not kidding around about this thing being brutal. Okay. Do the quick save. Anytime option. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is figure out what the heck is going on. Even the menu. <laughs> like, they don't just have a menu with, like, exit game options. No, 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 no. You just get a picture here. <laughs> and you gotta try to guess what stuff does. There's the Oh, the control panel is the electrical panel. Okay. Save game is the calendar. Uh, though the first thing we need to do is hire some mercenaries. And this uh, kind of has a little bit of that good old might and magic vibe. Uh, they've, they've even gone way beyond that, I think. Because these, these are not just, uh, you know, placeholders or blank people. You know, if you will, NPCs. Now, they have a lot of personality... And they're very distinctive, you know, so you really get a lot of replay value out of this game by just trying out different members of the team. Now, there is another aspect to this. you got to pay these people. And you see, we don't have unlimited money here. Since we put it on easy, we get a little bit more money. But we've got up two, four, six. We've got eight slots here. And some of these people will not work for us right away. Uh, they'll say, you're too new, you're too inexperienced, your reputation's too bad. <laughs> so... Uh, so one thing you could do is just hire eight people and then fire some along the way as you get a little better reputation or some die. Uh, the problem with that approach, though, is, again, it's very realistic. They, they'll get, you know, the other people get mad at you for firing people or they won't want to work for you because people are dying. <laughs> they don't want to work for you. You get people killed. You know, you can't blame them. Uh, so you want to put a little thought into who you want on the team. I, I kind of go with the... You know, I read two or three different guides and FAQs to try to figure out some, just some basic advice <laughs> to get started. And uh, most of them agree you probably don't want eight people right away, especially for these first few sectors. And I had a little fun with Kaboom. He's kind of a, a dumb guy. But everybody likes a character named Ivan. Let's grab Ivan. Where is he? We'll get <laughs> Raffy. <laughs> yeah, my hair used to look just like that. Or it got long. My hair got taller and taller and taller and taller. I was looking like that guy off of a, was a Kramer from Seinfeld. And finally, I guess the, just the force of gravity <laughs> pulled it down. <laughs> uh, Pops, Reuben, Bernie. There he is, Ivan. A new member and a one-time decorated major in the Red Army, Ivan Dolvich has, like his country, switched from killing for Lenin to dying for Lincolns. Oh, nice. However, unlike his homeland, Ivan actually appears to be good at it. Ha-ha! <laughs> so, you know, good snappy writing. I I think uh, some of these early games I actually prefer these because uh, they don't have a lot of space <laughs> to put a whole bunch of text you know, it's, they got to try to fit it into this box, so it kind of makes the writers be a little snappier. Man, you know, you, you, you try to play something like uh, Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous, I've been playing that a lot. And I mean, it's, you know, pretty much every little thing is, you know, two or three pages. <laughs> you just feel like you're spending all your time reading. You know, but it just probably just makes you want to skip. Uh, whereas this is just, you know, you could read that. It's it's bite size. It, it does the job. You know, it provides the flavor. And then you move on, so... A little thing, but uh, just something I appreciate. Now, if you look up here in the in this little little card, I guess you can see how much it costs to hire him. That's how much you have to pay the salary of, you know, every month, I guess, or week. Is it, is it every day, week? I'm not sure. Uh, health. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, these numbers, by the way, go up to a hundred, so it's just a percentage. So you can see he's very agile. This controls the uh, action points, how much stuff you could do per turn, 
Uh, I'm not really sure about dexterity. I think that's like lock picking and things. I could be wrong about that. It just says uh, fine motor skills, basically. But you also have this marksmanship, which is the aim. So I'm kind of curious how those two things go together. But he's, he's pretty well... Uh, you really do a lot of shooting, so you want this marksmanship score high. Uh, explosives... You know, you can set bombs to blow up doors. You can uh, try to dis dis defuse bombs. Uh, he's okay with this. We can train these, by the way, in the game itself. And he comes in at a level 2, which is nice. But as you can see, if we click there, we don't get any tool tips or anything. You'd have to look that up in the manual. Uh, and the gear is also important. Uh, there's no store, at least that i found, where you can buy gear. Uh, you're pretty much stuck with what they have coming in, and then what you can find uh, in crates and stuff and get off corpses as you play. Uh, so it's not insignificant. You might want to look at this guy and say, I like his gear. He comes with a three-pocket vest, which is nice. So let's go ahead and hire him. No, don't terminate. Капиталист. Yeah, I guess this is Russian? I don't know. I heard capitalist. I think I know what that means. You know, some of you guys that know Russian, I'd love to know what, what the heck these... <laughs> that is. is that real Russian or is that something they came up with for fun? Uh, maybe maybe it's saying something funny, I'd love to know. It wouldn't surprise me if that was a little gag inside joke. Okay, well there's one down. We got Ivan. I also have... Uh, I like ice. This guy's got a clock radio. What's that? A for? clock radio. When the digital time display blanks out that a listening device has been placed within 75 feet. Okay, that's kind of weird. You know, I was. Oh, this guy has a shotgun. Yeah, I was reading that some of these guys uh, have useless items. I guess it's theory for kind of role playing. They don't actually do anything. I was reading about, I think it was a camera that one of them has. Some of the later games, it might be useful. Oh, let's see. I want ice. Oh, we gotta get snake in there. Snake, call me snake. Let's see, ice. A long time member, Ice Williams, has been primarily used as a sniper since joining the organization. Undaunted by the prospect of working for those of unknown reputation, he instead prides himself in helping those new to the mercenary game establish themselves. See again, he comes in at level two. Marksmanship is good. <clears throat> Everything's looking pretty good. Go ahead and hire. Let's look at his gear. Sun goggles. Sun goggles. Okay, that was helpful. <laughs> Maybe useful if he gets into fog or something. He's got a knife, which is handy, and the water. All right, go ahead. Show, dude. I'm itching. I'm due, and I'm ready. I'm itching, I'm due, and I'm ready. Maybe that could be my new catchphrase for match hits, you know. Okay, let's get a couple more. Uh, let's look for Fox. There's Fox. Let's get her. Cynthia the Fox Guzman. Dangerous, desirable, and devious. Cynthia Guzman is the latest female addition to our organization. A former nurse from Newark with a doctor's attitude, the fox is known for her field treatment of casualties, excellent agility, and amazing dexterity. And she's got a 60% on her medical. A lot of these doctors, they want a big salary, so they'll have to settle. <laughs> with a firm, former nurse from Newark. Spend some more time in Medivira. Let me oh. see how you handle it. Then try me again. Okay, so she was, she's one of the ones that wants more reputation, so I have to pass on her for now. Oh, this guy looks a little bit like, uh, how's it, uh, oh, who's the guy? Uh, Night Roxbury. <laughs> Will Ferrell? Is that his name? <laughs> uh, Hector Snake. Well, let's grab, uh, there's another lady I had in my party earlier I liked a lot. Uh, where is she? Beth, I think, is her name. Eagle. God, look at all these characters. I mean, there she is. Uh, looks a little like a, a fish called Wanda. 
She's a relatively new recruit. Mary Beth Wilkins desperately wants the chance to prove herself. While her stats may appear weak, Wilkins is a quick learner with some medical experience and a gung-ho attitude. She also has no qualms about ratting on fellow team members. <laughs> so, so what that's talking about is, again, very realistic. These, this crew might talk, talk about you behind your back and uh, set the other mercenaries against you. So Beth here will let us know if that's going on. So that sounds pretty good. Yes. I'd gladly work for someone as respected as you. Yay, okay. And let's get a, where was, did we get snake already? Gotta get snake. Snake Kliskin. Cut skelly. Sparky. <laughs> I might get Kaboom just for, just for fun. Gets Wolf. We can grab Wolf. What does he do? He's got some explosives, some mechanical, a little bit of everything, I guess. A well-rounded knowledge of all mercenary disciplines as a member of AIM for the past four years. He'd probably be a pretty solid addition. Let's go ahead and pick him up. I'll be there in the morning, and then we'll see what that madman is made of. Hmm. I like the sound of that. I gotta get weasel ah there we go snake agile enables slippery and swift johnny edwards has managed to slither into range unnoticed side up his unsuspected target then disappear before the smoke dissipates time after time mission after mission oh got a good marksmanship back explosives he's got a camouflage kit a camouflage kit Non-cracking facial paint and applicators. Okay. So that might come in handy. Alright, I think this is this will do for this uh, for now. I'll save some slots later for when we get a little more experience. There's a $600 helicopter charge. Yes. I think that's one of the differences between the easy mode and the hard mode is how much that helicopter flight costs. Okay, I will go ahead and save us here. A <laughs> new start. And then we can start up our mission. And you do that by going to sleep. Lovely little helicopter. We suffered a serious setback. Sometime this morning, someone managed to get into the processing plant and steal an essential piece of equipment. Without the micropurifier, we're shut down. We have to get it back as soon as possible. Until then, there's no point in tapping any trees. Must get the purification chip. All right, so here's the strategy layer. And you can see there's 60, I believe, 60 sectors. I have to go all the way across. This is the only one we have claimed down here in the corridor. And some of these sectors have uh, these black squares. And those are those trees they were talking about, right? Uh, so you want to, you got to get the trees and you got to have workers to uh, tap, kind of like maple syrup, I guess. <laughs> they go in there and work the trees or rubber. <laughs> uh, and then you have to put some guards on there because the enemies will come and take it back. Uh, so that's kind of this big strategic layer on this. We don't really need to mess with it right now. Uh, what we probably should do is outfit the rest of our crew. So this is sort of a little breakdown of our, our guys so far. You can see their gear. You can see their stats. And we can have them rest up if we want. Not go on a mission. We could train them. He could fire them there. You could see, uh, you know, maybe if you wanted Beth here to work on medicine or something you, you could do that uh, but I probably want them all on my on the mission so here's this gear and we have a, a little bit of a few things here you see we have two An of these vest with two pockets two pocket vest definitely gonna want to put that on somebody An assault vest. one with three pockets another radio and a lot of bullets the bullets are key <laughs> And so I'd definitely max out that. Uh, let's 
see what else. Okay, he's looking pretty good, I think. This guy doesn't even have a jacket. Let's give him the three pockets. Uh, the canteen. Canteen. I guess some characters get thirsty. That really hasn't happened to me yet, but I was told that that is a thing. Now, if you hold the shift key down, you can grab five bullets at one, one time. Kind of handy. No room. You can't put more than five in a slot. Here's Beth. Let's put a jacket on her. Go ahead. Now she's got a medical kit. No room. Yeah, let's see. Medical kit. And then a, a pistol looks like she's got everything else though. Alright, we what is that? A lockpick? A locksmith's kit. Lock in smith. perfect condition. Oh yeah, there's item conditions too, so you have to repair. That's what, that's what that mechanics thing's for, so you can repair gear. Alright, so he's got a different kind of gun here. A Colt 45. In perfect condition. With six bullets. So he's only got those six bullets before he runs out of ammo. That's it. But he does have a knife we could switch to if need be. We'd give him a huh? Huh? canteen, but uh, we'll just go with this. Okay, I think we're good to go. Yeah, we could try messing around with trees or anything, but it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Let's just go ahead and touch down here. And we'll have, this is based on days, so you have so many hours in the day uh, to work on stuff. You can go to multiple sectors in one day if you like. Just for the purposes of our video, I'll probably only do maybe one or two sectors. We'll see how the time goes. Uh, but there's my crew, and you can see the 60 up in the top left corner is green. Uh, so it's sec it looks like go, but it's really sector 60, and the green indicates there's no enemies here, so we're not in turn race mode. Which means, for example, I can left click, hold down the left button, and go to the right button, and it will move my whole crew at once. And we hit the page down, we can get this view where it's a little easier to see, kind of a set of a mini map, I guess you just see it like that. But that's probably the biggest irk about the game, you know, one thing you really would love pressure, pressure. would be a, yeah, a way to not. get better resolution, but <laughs> uh, again, it's 1995, 94. I was just graduating high school. Pressure, pressure. I'm saying something. Pressure, pressure. Okay. An assault vest with Ooh. four pockets. Four pocket vest. Okay, that's even better than the one I had. Huh? 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 But now I got huh? an extra vest. Huh? Right, stick it there. Okay. <laughs> stick this vest in your pocket. <laughs> Looks like there's something there too. Oh, there's another pistol. I hear you. Yeah, let's have Wolf grab that. Done. Oops. No, oh, don't do it. What the? You know, there's some quirks to this interface. I'm not sure what made that happen. Done. Oh, a 38. Okay. There's a 38. We'll just stick that in my pocket for now. But we will need. I think that's going to run out of ammo. Okay. Back to here. It looks like there's a knife there. Me? Let's look at Beth's inventory. She have in the room. I wonder if I could give her that extra vest. I guess I have to get a little closer. Let's see. Okay. Okay. They're probably close together. Okay. Can I give Beth the yes, three pocket? Boom! There we go. Huh? 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 Ah. What to do with this extra vest? You know, I guess about the only thing I could do with it would be to take somebody's knife away. I don't want to do that. 
Huh? There. I'm actually not sure what it does if you don't if you leave equipment here. I guess you can come back and get it at any time. Okay, let's get into that. Oh, I was gonna see if she could use a knife. I don't think she's we could try it. Alright. A knife. Yeah, okay. Not in perfect condition as you can see, but it will come in handy if we run out of ammo or need to fight some uh, water monsters. And that yellow tree there is our, the fallow trees that we're talking about. You know, you, we could spend right. a lot of time just fully exploring this. Right. I don't think there's very much more to see in the stirring sector, though. There might be a few useful pieces of gear. All right. I found something over here! <laughs> I'm really excited All right. I... Oh, there's right. a helmet. A helmet? In... Yeah, we definitely want that little bit of armor. All right. And here we I have found a... something. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Bunch of ammo in the bathroom. Okay. All right. A six bullet bomb. No room. I don't think huh? I've got any more room. Okay, exit out of that. Okay, put it down. Let's see, does anybody else have room for another box of ammo? No. Yo. He's full. I hear you. Hmm. You know, I really wish I knew if, if these items just disappear forever if you don't pick them up. But I think we're kind of maxed out, so we might just have to come back here later. Okay, I'm satisfied. So let us leave. And the way you go to the next sector, okay. is you get to a corner. These guys had camouflage stuff, right? Who was that? Did I not get the guy with the camo? Yo. Nice. Yeah, I guess I didn't get the guy with the camouflage, but you can apply that kind of a little buff, I suppose, stealth buff. Okay, everybody's in the corner. We can click on traverse, travel, and we want to go north. Okay, here we go with the the first sector. And what we can do is try to look at the big map here, you get a good overview of the sector. You're trying to think about where the enemies might be. You know, they get turns, they move around. And again, it's not a game that is easy. <laughs> And some of the stuff is only in the manual. So, for example, you if you want to crouch down, I believe that takes two movement points, and the way you do that is to hit Control, or is it Alt? And that will crouch him down. And you've got a sneak option. I think that's, uh, you hold down the Shift key, maybe? Yeah, so you can see this, this 20 there means it would take 20 action points to move that far. But if, if I hold Shift key, that's that sneaky sort of movement, so that only goes 30. That would take 32 action points. He's only got 24 per turn. Now another big thing is trying to cross water is very dangerous. You could equip a knife. I read that makes it safer somehow. Because the water is, I guess, is full of uh, anacondas or something. I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so that's as far as he can go. Me? And then I can... Switch to Beth again, putting that knife on. And you put it in the left corner, that's the active hand. And over here is like a alternative. All right. Try to just get them all in the water. I hear ya. Okay, wolf. Same thing. Done. I don't want them hanging out in that water any longer than necessary. 
Yeah, that was like a combat knife. Oh, combat yeah. knife. Does everybody have that same? Yo, that knife looks different. A knife in perfect condition. Oh. Carbon steel blade. I guess uh, Ivanir has a slightly better uh knife. Okay, so that's all we can do. So we can just do the done. Or you can hit D for done, and that'll put you on the next turn. Okay, Ivan. Alright, he's out of the water. Yo. Hit space to go to the next dude. out of the water. Right. Oh, couldn't quite make it. Done. Whoa. Okay, that's it for this turn. Hit D again. Huh? <laughs> As you can see, this is not a super fast-paced game. Now, one of the things you can do uh, is hit F9, and that activates this line of sight function so it'll tell you how many enemies they can see so that's really useful because if you don't see the enemy and you might shoot in the general direction you might fought in thy general direction <laughs> uh, but you're probably not gonna hit and you're very limited by bullets so you, you don't want to be taking any shots that you don't have at least a reasonable chance of uh, connecting with so that's a factor and also being behind trees and things is very helpful Matter of fact, I probably could just be sneaking around at this point. He doesn't see anything. Yo. This guy's up here. Let's try to move very carefully. Matter of fact, I'm gonna. It's cool. Looks like there's something. Oh, he sees something. Oh, that's just a rock, I believe. Doesn't give me any text. I'm not really sure what the rock is for. You throw it at somebody or make a sound. I'm, not, I'm just not sure. It's cool. It's cool. Okay, I'll leave that there. Let's go back to me? Beth. All right. All right. I just really hope I can see the enemies right, before they see me. That Done. is the goal here. Okay, he's out of the water. I'm going to go ahead and put his gun back on. Looks like he's got 10 more movement. Done. There. Okay. Still not seeing any enemies. Let's go to Yo. Ice. He's next to a crate. Cool. Hmm. A little ammo, looks like. I don't think he's got any room in his inventory, though. Sucky as it is, I just probably should leave that there for now. We'll go ahead and swap that out though. Oh, he still sees no enemies. Me? Oh, yeah, I keep wanting to use WASD to move and that will reset everything. You gotta be very careful not to hit that. Let's move her over All right. here. I hear ya. Okay, stick to Done. the trees. Done. Still not seeing any enemies. Done. Okay, let's go to Ivan again. Gotta show, gotta show. Around. You know, you can see why people gotta compare show, this show. to XCOM. It has definitely has that same vibe. It's, it's, I'm looking forward to using that grenade. Yeah, still not seeing anything. Let's try to move here. Show, show. Yeah, I'm really wondering where these enemies are. Yo. Probably next to that. Cool. There's that fallow tree. It's cool. It's cool. Mm -hmm. This guy gets a lot of movement. It's cool. 
All right, so what you, we can, if we hold the Alt key down and click on him, that takes two action points, but it kind of crouches down. I think that makes him harder to be shot. <laughs> harder to hit, maybe a little stealthier. Okay, let's move you All there. Right. Beth. Get your gun ready. Have you crouch down as well. There's. I hear you. It's kind of tricky selecting people sometimes. I don't know what the deal is. Done. Okay. D again. Let's look at the time. We're at 25 minutes in. Huh? Well, there could be some enemies hiding up there. Just don't know. Where's ice? Yo. It's cool. Let's have ice. It's cool. Still nothing. It's cool. Still nothing. Wow, where are these guys? Me? Uh, 16 movement. Alright. And movement. I'm closing in on an oh, enemy over here. There we go. Jamie Lee Curtis has spotted one. Oh, he's over there. All right, let's let's go there. All right. And let's hunker down. Now we gotta get everybody. I hear you. There. Done. I don't know if he spotted me yet. If we save some points, we'll be able to interrupt his, his movement and do something if we have a few action points left. So you don't necessarily need to use them all. Matter of fact, I'm just going to leave him there. Okay, so the enemy did not see us, I suppose. We at least didn't shoot at us. Okay. Now things start to get interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. Quick save. Yes. Okay, so there he is. He's in strong shape. She doesn't have a whole lot of movement here. The closer I get, the better chance of hitting, obviously, but that works both ways, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's right. see about moving here. Okay. I'm just going, let me uh, go ahead and get everybody else in position, then we'll let's think about how we want to do this. Alright, who's this guy? I hear you. Wolf here. I'll see if we can move Wolf in. Maybe there. Let's start there. Done. And he still hasn't noticed us. That would take all his movement to move there. Let's go ahead and move there. Okay, good, good. Yo. Let's get Ice Ice Baby over there. Where is that, Maddie? Me? Oh, it doesn't. I guess Ice can't see him yet. Yo. Alright, it'd be great to move there. Cool. Let's move there. Mother. Oh, we spotted another enemy. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get behind. Come on. Not diving. There's Beth. Let's see about moving Ivan. Got a shot, got a shot. Still doesn't see an enemy. One got a shot, got a shot. There you go. Yeah, I'm still, I don't think they've noticed me yet. So I'm just gonna wait one more turn. See him moving around. Okay, there we go. Now we got a full. 
a full turn at these guys. Let me see. Wolf. Oh, yeah. You know, he might be close enough to stab. If I want to shoot at him, I right click, activate the gun. You can see that's going to take eight points. But here's the thing I could spend more action points to try to get a more accurate shot. So he's kind of nestled in. It's going to be hard to shoot through those trees, probably, but let's just go ahead. So I can right click. And then I can keep on right clicking to add some more you know, accuracy to the shot. So you're really, you know, aiming carefully. Let's go ahead and commit to it. Let's go. Oh, 17. So he hit. But now I don't have enough. Yeah, it takes six action points to fire once. So I'm going to just turn that off and have him crouch down. And we'll, we'll call that turn done. Me? Let's take Beth here. You know, that's a lot of movement points. All right. Okay, let's see if she can hit him too. Oh, she missed. Okay, so that leaves her in kind of a bad position too. I really want to take Yo. this guy out. We have this other enemy there. Go ahead. Oh, it's 10 movement to move there. It's cool. Okay, should be able to get at least one shot. Oh, nine! He can't do anything, really. I guess we'll just have him... Okay, Ivan. 22 movements, not gonna make it. Let's just take a shot. And hit him. Yeah, we can take one more shot. Wounded him. Okay, now we gotta get shot at. This is not gonna be fun. Interrupt. Yeah, so he's got, if he had any movement, he could use it, but we don't have anything. guys doing? You know, I wonder if Ice could use his knife. He doesn't have enough action points. No, we're just not doing anything. Okay, now we can do something though. We can stab him. Let's go ahead and stab him. Cool. We can stab again, stab again. Ugh. Got it. <laughs> yeah, don't you love the personality? It's like Abnin. Alright, come on, Ivan. Uh, let's let that have the first crack at him. Jamie Lee Curtis here. Okay. Try to move up a little bit closer, or we could take the shot. Just take the shot. Oh, she missed. I think that's going to be a recurring theme. <laughs> I mean, she is more of a nurse, I guess, than a than a hired gun. See, is he close? He's a long ways off. About uh, here, yeah. He's a little closer. 15 to move there. Wouldn't have any 10 to move there. Yeah, it might, I think it might be worth moving up. Done. Okay, let's see if we can flip him. Oh, awesome! <laughs> we just got ourselves another piece of turf. Boom! So that means we're done with the sector. when you're just careful. <laughs> oh man, I'm feeling good about this. I'm gonna save that. Yeah. Now we gotta go see what we picked up here. A six bullet box of 38 ammo. Okay, a little more ammo. I just wish I could figure this how to like load the gun. A 38 <laughs> 
some way to load that gun. I just do not know how. Who's got some actual room here? Huh? I think you can do this, right? No. After. Load gun. A uh, thirty-eight. Uh. Okay. <laughs> you got me. I don't know how to load. My gun. Hang on, I'll look it up. Apparently, you can't. <laughs> Just have to wait till it's empty. Okay, okay. Let's get everybody together. Oh, you gotta find that water purifier. I'll do the do. What the? The hell was that? He just backed his own guy? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna try this quick restore. I think I accidentally hit my own dude so right. Right. Okay. You have to find somebody with an empty slot. Here's another helmet. This might, this might kind of stink. I might just have to drop something. I don't want to drop a knife. I guess it's not really. Well, let's just. Hmm. I'm really not liking the idea of dropping ammo. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Me? Uh, what to drop? Uh, okay. <laughs> Man. Oh, this is painful. Okay. Well, I don't have to drop. I have to clean the whole slot out. Okay, now I can pick up the water purifier. Cool. A micro pure. Made a big mistake giving this thing to a doughboy like him. Okay, I guess that's a good thing. Put the knife away. So we got some ammo here. You know, maybe what we can do later is just experiment and see if when we come back here if that ammo is still on the ground. Oh, we got a crate there. Okay. Some more treasure. Cool. Hmm. This cool. is nothing in that one. Empty. What the? What the? Ugh. Very fussy interface. It's cool. You gotta be very mindful of what you're clicking on. Hmm. Ooh, there's a, another vest. An assault vest with four pockets. Four pockets, okay. That'll give me one more pocket. Huh? Huh? Which one? This is this a three pocket? Does anybody have less than three pockets? Okay. <laughs> That might be a reason to have an extra character, just to have more room. A Colt 45. Oh. I think I'd rather have the Colt 45 than that vest. Okay. Is there anything else here? Right. Let's see. Right. Right. Probably good. Right. Let's go ahead and traverse to the next uh, 
Let's go, let's see, we went, I'm gonna get that big map. So we could go here. So we need to go south and then west. Let's see if we can do that. So we gotta go to the bottom of the map. Right. Kind of want to pick up a few extra crew. Okay, let's go south. Now this would be a good place to check to see if it leaves the stuff. Yeah, so the stuff is still here. Okay. So that makes it a little bit less pressing. So what we could do is just leave the stuff here that we don't need right away. So maybe I'll just leave some of this ammo behind, give ourselves an extra slot or two. Could leave that. Oh, did that pick up the... Cut a shot, cut a shot. Cut a shot, cut a shot. A cold 40. Okay, let's take the... I just don't want to go anywhere without this 45. <laughs> cut a shot, cut a shot. Yo. Okay, does anybody have... What do I do with this water purification chip? I don't know if I need to have that on me. Uh, I'll leave her with the extra ammo. Yes. I don't want to overthink this. Okay, grab everybody again. Let's get to the western side now. Oh, one thing we can do now. We can take a look here at these sectors. Oh, maybe I can't do that right now. You know, at some point we can uh, put the gonna sign some tappers. Let's see if we can move west. Can't traverse here. Okay. Let me get back to the corner. Okay. Let's go west. Yeah, here we go again. the map. There's these trees, the fallow trees. Let's I think it maybe try to get over to this point. So let's just move everybody slowly to the west. Oh, I already spotted. Ooh, jeez. Okay, maybe we can get the drop on that. I hear you. doesn't see him yet. Done. Opponent, oh, the opponent saw me. I hear ya. I don't think he hit me yet, though. Done. Oh, he still doesn't see anybody. Crush him down. Me? Let's get a look at this guy again. Huh? There he is. Right behind that tree. Me? Doesn't move very far. All right. I'll go ahead and just leave her there. I think. Yo. And you can move. It's cool. All the way up there. All right. So the question is, I... do I shoot or try to get behind some cover? I think you know the answer to that. Missed him. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright, so just had enough Me? points to duck. Alright, we'll just have to get shot at. This could be bad. Oh, and he died. Er, he didn't die, but he, he got hit. 
So I have to go bandage him now. Let's see if we can take out take him out first though. Man, I missed again. Okay, he's not gonna be very helpful this time, I guess. It's cool. Ice just still does not see him. It's cool. Doesn't have enough. How about this knife? Not enough action points to do anything. Great! This is not going well. All right. She doesn't have enough movement. I hear you. What about Wolf? Can you get him? Maybe he can make the shot with that 45. Uh, good solid hit. Yo. The other characters are kind of sitting ducks, though. Well, at least he didn't get another hit. Can stab him now. Ugh, 42 points. And he's down. Oh, there's a note there. Okay, we need to get Me? Beth over there with this kit and help out Ivan. All right. Okay, so she's like doctoring him. Yo. Let's go ahead and move this cool. guy a little bit and see if we can spot some more of these guys. I hear you. Not out of the woods yet. Done. Literally. Still getting patched up. You can see the red bar there. Uh, what is it? Health? 82. All right. Wolf? Uh, nice. It's cool. I hear you. Don't like having to run across that big field, but. Done. Still don't see anybody. Guys are still working. We'll just have to quit turning there. All right, Ivan's bandaged now. We can move these guys out. Huh? Got a shot. Beth. All right. Uh, Beth. I hear you. Hmm. My guess is they're there. Keeps peeking off to the west. Oh, there's just no cover there whatsoever. I hear ya. Done. Done. He doesn't see anything. Done. Hey, there's a crate. Done. Well, maybe there's nothing there. Oops. Yo. It's cool. Another crate. It's cool. Okay. There's definitely some opponents, but. Hmm. There's another lock picking kit. I hear ya. Hmm. What is that? A Kevlar vest. Ooh. Good condition. That'll come in handy. That's awesome. Okay. Didn't I pick up something else? Like a letter. Yeah, where was that letter? Did I get the letter? Yo. Huh? Oh my good. I think I forgot to pick up that letter on the ground. What is this? S36 D9. Stored AM. Distribute items as needed. LS. Love that voice work. Sounds a little bit like Sulu to me. 
storage decay. I don't see any reason to carry that thing around. Precious inventory slot. Just keep moving everybody, I think. Yeah, if we hit F2 or F1. Doesn't seem to do anything. Yo. Some way to select your various people, but I don't have to figure that out yet. Me? I'm gonna stick with the mouse. Alright. Yo. Okay, nice. Cool. Mother. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, so he has not been seen yet, which is good. Let's get cool. be tucked behind there. Good, 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 good. Uh, good. Yeah. Let's tuck you behind that uh. way. Okay. Good to flank him. Yo. Question is, do we just go ahead and take the shot or risk? I'm gonna take the shot. <laughs> got him. Well, I think I, I can take another shot. <laughs> Boom! Both times. Uh, here it's got not quite enough to do the shot. Okay. Anyway, he's just, just running away. Okay, can we stab him? Done. Yep. Oh, what happened there? I guess he didn't see that crate was in the way. Okay, well. I hope we can shoot him at least. Boom. <laughs> we just got ourselves another piece of turf. Boom, another sector done. Got another medical kit there. Done. That looks like some 45 ammo. Two clips of 40. Lack of inventory is just killing me. I don't want to leave this gun oh. behind. Uh, well, stinks, but I, I don't know what the, else to do at this point. I guess it's either leave a gun behind or vital equipment behind. I guess I could give it to another character, maybe. Me? Right. She's got a little space. Nothing. Who's the? I hear ya. Done. Out of there. How can I can see it? All right. Two clips. <clears throat> she doesn't have any room either. Oh, inventory management. Not something I enjoy. Right. <coughs> hmm. There's a bigger mess. And oh. a there we go. Okay. Now I can have a whole extra inventory slot. Hmm. What the hell is that? A wall probe in good condition. Interesting. Not 
sure how useful that will be, but we will take it. Alright, so that's uh, two sectors done. Probably enough for a little first little playthrough here. You know what, though? I'm having so much fun. I want to do one more sector. Okay. Gotta do one more. Yes. Alright, so we went west. We need to go north, I think. Okay, here we go again. Let's take another look. Ooh! This one's got a compound. Look at that. Okay. There's a bridge there. Definitely got more challenge. Let's make little moves. Yo, it's cool. Yeah. Better Swipe with XCOM. I hear ya. Done. Okay. Yeah. And Ivan better show, better show. here. Still not Yo. seeing anything. Come on, ice. Cool. And I feel like I'm in one of those 80s right. action action flicks. I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this area. Uh oh. Oh. If there's anyone else available, I could use some help fighting here. All right, Jamie Lee, calm down. Oi. Oh, she's. Oh, that's terrible. Right out in the open. That ain't good. I hear ya. Done. You might be bandaging yourself. Yo. Let's get these other guys cool. in position. And Ivan. Uh. Okay, that's about all they can do. Okay, she got lucky. Me? Alright, that. Okay, she's not the best shot, I don't think, right? What's her? Yeah, she's not gonna make that. Let's just get her out of out okay. of arm's way here for now. Okay. That's no good. I'm trying to think of where I can move these, these guys where they can see. Done. Up, but he doesn't have enough action points. Uh, he might be able to take a shot. Yeah. Boom! 11 points. There you see, he reloaded too. I have a bullet for you, Trebus. Yo. Alright, guys, can we stab him? 15, cool. yep. Yeah. Oh, didn't kill him though. Oh, missed. Okay. Here we go, let's take the shot. Oh, missed. Me? Alright, Beth, this might come down to you. Alright. Nope. <laughs> Don't bandage him. <laughs> How about we shoot him? Oh, missed. I hear ya. This guy's probably too far away. Done. 
Done. Done. Still doesn't see him. Oh, he's gonna get another attack. Maybe he's running away. Yo. It's cool. Let's see if we can backstab. Oh, missed. Ow. All right. Yeah, she ain't gonna make that. Nope. I hear ya. Wolf, can you make it? Done. He's on the run, but nobody's got enough Done. action points. Done. Guess is he's not gonna make that shot. Nope. Crash up, crash up. I don't know what happens if they run away. Can they actually get away? Yo. Come on, stabby! It's cool. Oh, he must just be terrible with that blade. Huh? Me? Alright. He's probably running this into a group of his friends. Alright. I hear ya. Got him. Whew. Bullets. Not sure what that thing is. Huh? It's ours now. Хорошо, хорошо. Well, that's probably worth saving. Okay. You know, there's some enemies oh. running around. Well, of course, the guy that's already got the goggles is the one closest to it. Huh? Got his goggles for Sun goggles in good condition. Uh, not really sure. What does that do for me? It doesn't look as adjusting any stats. But it's got to be good for something, right? Yo. Where's that compound? Okay, you there, Beth. You All right. There. Okay. Hi, you. Wolf. Done. Get behind that bush. Looks pretty good. I wonder if I have to break inside of this. Uh, Can I use that thing I picked up? That wall detector thing? That'd be fun to play with when we get a little closer. Okay, nice. Cool. I wonder if the, maybe they got guards patrolling around. Cool. I kind of look in the window. <laughs> so many questions. Cool. Cool. Yeah, look, he can see through the window. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know who ended, who ended up with that device. Me? All right. I it must you. be Wolf, I guess. Did I did I not pick up a wall device? Done. I don't remember who I must. Ivan? I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining I had a wall <laughs> detection. Okay. There's the door. Still doesn't see anything. No. It's cool. Me? <laughs> me? <laughs> Not me. All right. I hear ya. Somebody's gotta peek around the corner. Still nothing. Alright. Done. Let's get these guys. Yo. It's cool. On either side of the door. 
think I'll do a fresh turn so that All right. go in guns blazing. Хорошо, хорошо. Okay. Open the door. Я вижу что-то. Yeah, okay, so ammo. Хорошо, хорошо. Yo. There's nobody in here? The bullets, God. Put the gun down. Yo. A six bullet. Alright, so we got that. I hear ya. He's out of ammo. A six bullet. He's not gonna be able to use it. You should be able to use it. Done. Me? All right. A six bull. No room. No oh, stupid. Yo. You know they really should have a better cool system for that. Reloading. That is annoying. Done. Me? Yeah, All right. You there? Actually, what is this? It's like there's a cabinet there. All right. Nothing. Nothing. All right, have I opened the door? Yeah, I see something. crafting system in this game. Yo. Chunk of steel. That's cool. Mother. Oh crap, nothing. <laughs> oh crap. Me? That was not smart. All right. Oh man. I hear ya. Done. I'm probably not gonna get any chance to do anything. Mm. Oh, nasty. Yo. It's cool. Oh, and of course he misses. Have Beth go in. All right. Surely you can hit him from that close. <gasps> Damn. I hear ya. Done. In critical condition. <gasps> Boom! Got him. Awesome. We just got ourselves another piece of turf. All right, there you go. Now we're out of uh, combat. We can patch up All nice. Right. I hear you. Done. Empty. Done. Search these crates. Done. Nothing. Done. Oh, still working over there, I guess. Done. Done. Yeah. Huh? So that's it. You know enough, I think, to give you the gist of what this game's all about. I will go back to the strategy level, though, before we go. Don't 
Нет. Ничего. Хорошо, хорошо. Ничего. Хорошо, ну, хорошо. Жизна. Ничего. Хорошо, хорошо. Ничего. Ice is all bandaged. I need to reload the gun. There he goes. I think he reloaded it, right? Me? I hear you. Yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> Baby steps. Ничего. Хорошо, хорошо. Reload. Ничего. Хорошо, хорошо. Ничего. Хорошо, хорошо. Ничего. Хорошо, хорошо. Ooh, there's something in there. What is that? Ooh, ooh. An assault vest. Another five pocket. All right, those are worth their weight in gold. Хорошо, хорошо. Yeah, let's see. That one is a four pocket. I hear ya. Maybe an upgrade for him. An assault. Yeah, look at that. Okay, good. Switch back to these guys. Done. Search this stuff. Done. Yo. Nice. That's cool. Empty. That's cool. Empty. Nothing. Hmm. Some more ammo. Two boxes. Excellent. That's cool. Nothing. That's cool. Nothing. It's cool. Hmm. Uh, is that an assault? Th four pocket. I think he's already got a four pocket. Does anybody have less than a four pocket? I hear ya. Yeah, this guy's got that thing. Oh, Beth had it. Oh, that could have would have come in handy, Beth. Right. Search. No, no, no. I hear ya. Done. Yeah, I'm still kind of get tricked up on the controls a little bit. Mm. Oh, God. A six. Mm. An assault. Ooh, another five. I think that'll do it for the video. Let's go ahead and save it here. Yeah, so let's uh, abort the day and you can see what that strategy level looks like. Did I do that right? So we made $24,400. That's how much we got left. Oh, I don't we do We suffered a serious setback. Some without the microphone. Okay, that is not the way to do that. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, that was a mistake. Okay. We need to reload. Just all messed up. Restore game. Quick start.
We suffered a serious set without. What the hell did I do? What the heck's going on? Oh, this is all messed up. Hope I didn't lose my save game. Let's see. Port. Yes. No. Restore game. Quick start. Normal difficulty. New start. Oh Jesus! We suffered a serious set without the microcomputer. You know, I did this last time. Uh, this is like the, this interface is terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, I was trying to like go to the next day, and I guess I just completely undid all my work. I'm not gonna do it again, folks. I've got my, <laughs> I've got, I can't do it. Uh, I was gonna try to show you though. After you do the day, I'm not even sure what. Do, how are you supposed to do it? And why doesn't the quick load actually work? Hang on, I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so just so I wouldn't have to end on such a crappy note, <laughs> I went back and uh, did that little intro part again. The micro Okay, so we got the micro purifier. So I guess this is the deal. Uh, you don't have separate save slots. You know, it kind of looks like that. You know, it's one of those games where you just save it only if you want to quit. Uh, so we could save it here, but if we do the quick restore, save day in progress. Let's just see what happens. Okay, move him over there. Quick restore, quick restore. Okay, so within the level, you know, within a sector, you could, you know, I guess if you screw up real bad, you could reload, which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you want to get like to the next day, you need to uh, hold the C button down. <laughs> oh, that guy's taking damage. Let me see if I can patch him up. Yeah, my second time through was just everything that went right the first time went wrong. Like Beth died trying to cross the river. <laughs> Wolf got heavily damaged. Her ice did. Trying to, she got shot. I mean, it's everything bad. C button. I think if I played this, uh, started up a new batch, I might want to get one more person. But after this, we would have been able, you know, if I hadn't lost my save game, <laughs> would have been able to hire some new crew. Probably would have had a much better reputation and gotten some of the more advanced characters. Yeah, this is taking forever, but it's, you know, I looked for like a a command to like quit to the next day anything like that I mean we quit the game but I don't know how else to get to the just to skip to the next day <laughs> so if you know that <laughs> love to hear it okay that should be it there we go okay, end of day one you got the micro purifier and instill some fear in the process it's early but with the plant back processing 20 trees tomorrow we're off to a great start so Jack, the you... urgency with which you retrieve the micro purifier warrants a bonus. I hope you'll accept a thousand dollars as a token. Well, Jack, if you're happy with that, you would have been a lot happier with my other performance. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so I don't think anything changed. Dish out six hundred dollars for corpse export. <laughs> okay, it'll be a closed coffin for sure. Okay, so I mean, one advantage of doing, doing sucky, you get to see some fun, some dark humor. Okay, so this would be day two, and I've got a little more money now. I could uh, hire some more people. Let's see, who was it that wouldn't come with me? Uh, I think it was the fox, right? Where's fox? Yeah. Fox, fox, fox. Did I pass you? There she is. Spend some more time in. Well, still won't go with us. Yeah, we could just. Weren't you shown a copy of my? No. Oh. Yeah, good snake. Hell yeah, I'll join. Okay, now we got snake. Okay, 
exit, go back. So I can show you what this top level strategy game looks like. Won't be as good as. Okay, I'll start. Har I'll stop harping on the <laughs> the disaster. Okay, day two, one new arrival. So you see how it works, though. You can hire new people as you go along. I'm not sure advanced. what's going on, but everyone seems to be complaining about not feeling too good. I suspect it's some form of nasty flu, but I think I'll have Brenda take some blood and check the water supply just to be on the safe side. Okay, so now we can look at the strategy game. Uh, so we've got these sectors here, and you can see the green squares and the... If I click on trees, I think, that shows me how much my uh, little factory can process. I've only got control of the one in the bottom right corner, which can do up to 20 trees. Uh, right now I've got nobody tapping anything, so we want to change that. So I'll just click on Tapper, and we can max that out and that out. And then we want to start moving some guards over. I guess we could just max it out for now. So the green squares, what do those green squares represent, I wonder? Guard capacity reached. No more tappers will work there. I'm not sure what those rest of those black squares represent. But anyway, that's how we do that. And you can see here how my revenue jumps up, right? If we start subtracting some guards, cost goes down, right? I'm not sure what the ideal number is. And we got these tappers, so if I put a tapper, yeah, you see my revenue is 3,000 now. If I remove a tapper, it goes down 500 bucks. So you might want to play around with this and see, you know, how few guards you need. <laughs> uh, the, apparently the enemy will come back and retake a sector if you don't have sufficient guards, so you might think about this. So the team is 50... No, project balance 15,230, revenue 3,000. three. project balance. Okay, so this is how much money I have total. The team 5,800. Action cost, project balance, maximum cost. You could adjust their salary. Let's see. Patient. Rest, train, doctor. Oh, he could be a doctor, I guess, or the patient. Train. I wonder if that's just because they're damaged. Uh, but anyway, that's basically the game. You know, as you conquered more sectors, you would allocate more people to the trees. Tapping, you'd put more guards, move the guards around, hire more. Uh, get more money, level up your guys, train them. You know, that's basically Jagged Alliance. Of course, it would get a lot more difficult as you went along. You start using all those different abilities like explosives and uh, what have you. But anyway, I'm going to stop it here. I think this is enough for you to decide if this is a game for you or not. Uh, a lot of fun, but just by God, be careful with the abort day. <laughs> uh, just keep going until the day is over. Uh, or you can hit C to compress time if you want to skip it forward a little bit. But anyway, still I still really enjoy the game, uh, despite the uh, problem. <laughs> uh, the graphics I love, the music I love, I love the banter, the humor with all of the, the characters in your party, the mercenaries. And my understanding is the uh, the games after this get even better. You know, I've heard that from a couple people. So a lot of the sort of wrinkles get worked out uh, later on in the series. So. I might return to uh, look at maybe Jagged Alliance 2 and, of course, the new Jagged Alliance game coming out soon. Uh, but anyway, I will stop it here. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. And that's all for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I should be back very soon. Got the, I'm trying to get some new interviews lined up. I love doing those. Uh, some new games to look at. You know, if you got some connections, you know somebody you like to uh, see me talk to on the show, you know, sound off in the comments, uh, email me, whatever. 
uh, your preferred communication tool is. Or you hop on the Discord, obviously. Uh, be happy to entertain those. I'd like to, you know, get some good guests on the program as well as some uh, fun new games to look at. Uh, as always, I want to thank you uh, very, very, very much for your support of the show. Would not, could not, would not even conceive of doing this show without you. So thank you, thank you very, very much for your support. Continued support of Matt Chat after all these years. Means a lot to me, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, if, <laughs> for whatever reason, you have not stepped up to the plate, uh, please rectify that by going to the... Link in the show notes to the Patreon. Uh, I like to think of it as the Ratreon site. Uh, and you can sign up for an account. And, you know, the nice thing about that is if you want to do uh, so much per month, you can do that. If you want to just do a one-time thing, uh, you can do that. You know, whatever works for you, whatever you're comfortable with, uh, I don't care. Uh, the amount doesn't matter to me. I just really appreciate that you're willing to step up and uh, help support the show. So thank you uh, very much, uh, very sincerely. Uh, I do have a couple other things um, along those lines. We've got Christmas coming up just around the corner. I know it'll be here very soon. Uh, so, of course, you might want to pick up for your loved ones the beautiful Dungeons and Desktops. Ooh, second, ooh. <laughs> ah, second edition <laughs> uh, book uh, authored by yours truly. And uh, uh, Shane Stacks is in on this one as well. Uh, you're really, really going to love this book. If you like the show, if you like old role-playing games, I mean, I just don't know why you wouldn't want to get yourself a copy of this thing. It's, you know, great reviews. Everybody loves it. <laughs> uh, you can pick that up on Amazon. And also, I still have uh, quite a few of these coins left. i got about 13 left. These are the exclusive Matchat coins designed by Robbie. You know, quite a, they're quite heavy. They're quite nice. They're quite beautiful. <laughs> I mean, wow, these are sure to get comments from wherever you display them. Uh, so I've got 13 of these left. Uh, you know, last time I wanted to sell some of these, I put them up on eBay. Uh, so I might look into that again. Uh, but if you're interested in these, uh, stay tuned. I will hopefully have a way for you to purchase these uh, very, very soon. But I mean, once these things are gone, <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> uh, if I ever do this again, we'll come up with a new design to keep these uh, exclusive and Rare and collectible and delectable. <laughs> you know, I kind of like just having a big box of them. It's just kind of fun. But, ah, it just sounds good, you know. Maybe you should pick up two or three just so you can have that experience at home. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, what about that news from the Matt Cave? The news, the news, the news. Well, first of all, I was looking for news about Jagged Alliance 3. Holy cow, you know, when's this thing coming out? What's going on, Heimamont Games? Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't have a date yet for this, but uh, they're saying they got some stuff about the details. Tactical turn-based, large uh, cast of unique mercenaries. They're going to bring in some of the ones from the uh, existing games. Uh, customized arsenal of weaponry and equipment. Uh, open RPG structure, control territory, train the locals, command multiple parties. I mean, there's a whole bunch of good stuff going on. Uh, experience a campaign with friends or in an online co-op mode. Uh, so it really does sound like they're trying to take all the best from those previous games, update the formula, make it, <laughs> you know, make the interface a little more accessible uh, to novices, but frankly, uh, for people like me as well. You know, make it a little bit harder maybe for you to lose your save game. That would be nice. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see what they come up with. Uh, but you can certainly check out their website. I'll have a link to that in the show notes. Also, uh, this is pretty cool. There's like a lot of cool Commodore 64 stuff in the news lately. This is on Indie Retro News, a game called Supremacy 30th Anniversary Edition. Now, I believe this was also released as Overlord. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure this was has, has one of those games with a couple different titles depending on where you bought it but uh, this is a uh, supremacy enhanced has trainers uh, mouse support that's pretty cool uh, animated pixelated intro from the Amiga version a lot of new animations uh, real-time strategic warfare game where the player must manage large armies economic capital political stability 
throughout a number of extra extra dimensional star systems. Uh, so this is one. I didn't play this one back in the day. It looks really cool, though. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the original as well as this uh, new enhanced edition. Maybe this might be something worth looking into for a future match. Uh, so do check that out. Uh, Supremacy. Uh, and then last uh, but not least, if you ever play that Vigilantes game, uh, I know some of you guys like that. Uh, somebody even bought it for me <laughs> to play. <laughs> you know, they like it so much they wanted me to play it uh, too. Uh, and I thought it was a great game. A lot of fun. Uh, well, those guys are back with a Another Kickstarter, they're going to use a lot of that uh, code to uh, build on for this. This is called Prometheus Wept, a turn-based RPG set in a near-future Earth where the majority of our digital technology and digitally stored information has been destroyed. Like a Jagged Alliance save game. <laughs> uh, hardcore, squad-level combat, simultaneous battles between cyberspace and the physical world, meaningful choices deep character progression, and an advanced crafting system. Third game by Time Slip Softworks. They're doing it for Windows, Mac, and, would you believe it, Linux! <laughs> uh, likely, this is the only game where you, you can incapacitate an enemy by dropping a shark on them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Worry about jumping the shark. This is dropping the shark. I mean, that's when he, you know, that's, that's a pretty cool uh, move. Um, all right, so they they got this Kickstarter. They're trying to get $8,500 or so. I guess $8,600 when you round up. Uh, they're about uh, $5,672 last time I checked this. So they got a little bit of ways to, a little ways to go. Uh, so if you, you know, if that sounds good, if you want to drop that shark, uh, go drop some bills <laughs> on their Kickstarter uh, campaign. Uh, I'll post a link to that uh, in the show notes, of course. You know, it sounds like this would be a good crew to get on the, sometimes when they're trying to do these Kickstarters, they're willing to come on any show, even Matt Chat, <laughs> in their desperate bid to raise that extra couple of thousand. Uh, so maybe I can get those guys on the show. We'll see. All right, let's wrap it up with a quote. And I was uh, looking for quotes about mercenaries and mercenary leaders and all this kind of stuff. And, of course, I ended up at Machiavelli. <laughs> he didn't like uh, mercenaries very much, if you ever read his book, uh, uh, The Prince. Really good book, by the way, if you've never read that. It's one of those, sometimes you get those, uh, that book in a history class or a literature class. It's one of those ones, though, that it's, it's just a good book, even if you're not really into <laughs> lit, uh, shall we say. Uh, a lot of uh, fun perspectives on leadership and so on and so forth. But anyway, uh, the quote goes something like this. The wise man does it once, what the fool does finally. All right, folks, I'll ponder on that and see you guys next time. Absolutely right about the rats. They've gotten into the subway.